What's going on, Bench Warmers? We're here with Percy at Smithfield Hall. We just saw the conclusion of today's Champions League match between Chelsea and Bayern Munich. Bayern taking an emphatic 3-0 win with a red card right in there mixed in for, I guess, a special dessert. challenge dessert uh, uh, for them to take back over to Bayern Munich. So, Percy, could you give us uh, your thoughts on how you saw this game, how you saw Bayern coming in? It was 0-0 at the half, but then they really just kind of ran through Chelsea. What do you think? They did. I mean, the the initial possession that they have, it was just a matter of time of uh, a goal going in. And as you know, usually whenever the first one falls in, another three or four fall in as well. It's like it's one of those things where the team has to find its stride through someone's defense and then it's all over. Uh, it was really good to see how sound the defense played today for the majority of the game. I mean, there are a couple of times where it was uh, a little too close for comfort. Uh, the middle looked very well, and uh, yeah, I was actually surprised. I was thinking probably about 2-1 buy-in, uh, so that was very pleasant surprise. Yeah. I think it was also a surprise, I mean, maybe, not really, but to see how Serge Gnabry was deployed in this game, and he was just running through that Chelsea defense, very close to getting his hat-trick. Did you see that coming from Gnabry for this game? Not exactly for Gnabry. Uh, actually, I was really impressed with the way uh, Fonzie Davis played. Um, he just smoked that left wing. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, so you have you have this three 0 win, away goals, all the away goals coming back. You have Marco Alonso with the red card. What are your thoughts? How do you see this return fixture for Bayern? Is it going to be another easy one? Well, Jorginho is going to be out as well. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah. So uh, I think. There shouldn't be, like at least on paper, there shouldn't be any problems. Uh, weirder things have happened. I wouldn't be like slipping on it or anything, but uh, I feel a bit more confident about us continuing on. And I really, really wish we play Barcelona next. Yes, yes. So he wants some. He wants some big competition. I want Holyfield. I want Holyfield. Yes, he's calling out the big boys. He ain't scared of Barcelona. So we saw Barcelona um, yeah. having a pretty tight game against uh, against Napoli. Does that give you? Let's say, does that give you some some hope for for taking them on right now during this Champions League season? It is. I mean, uh, Napoli is no joke. I mean, I don't know if you follow him, but Napoli is a very serious team and. Uh, you know, the the final 16, you know, are there for a reason. So, yeah, anything can happen. Anything. Uh, so, how about a bit of background, Percy? How, how did you choose Bayern München? Do you have a bit of, uh, let's say, a, a bit of a story, a backstory to how you followed this team, how you fell in love with this team? Um, I've been following Bayern München since 1982, since uh, Karl Heinz uh uh, Sepp Meyer, Paul Breitner, you know, that type of stuff. Uh, I just, uh, I grew up in Europe, um, lived here most of my life though. And um, yeah, so alongside with uh, Bayern München, I'm, a, I'm an Everton supporter as well. So uh, yeah, so I've been pretty in touch and pretty intact with uh, both teams. I go to Germany maybe like three or four times a year. Um, yes, particularly in uh, Bayern, you know, in the whole uh, Bayerischer Wald, you know, area. And uh, I'm lucky enough to catch probably about two to three games per year. So, uh, yeah, the love is real. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't doubt it at all. So last question here. Um, do you frequent Smithfield Hall? Is this someplace that you come to often? I, I try to. I try to. I've met a couple of people over here, and um, actually, it's funny because uh, sometimes it works out perfectly timing-wise. Uh, other times, it is a bit of a hassle to get here. But you know, like today, for an example, uh, I was supposed to be somewhere else. Right? Wait, we're not saying anything. This isn't really <laughs> Percy. This is somebody else that looks like him. Yeah, yeah totally. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you compare? The, the question I wanted to wrap up on is. Uh, how do you compare the environment, the ambient for this Bayern München game towards what you've seen over in Germany? Is it comparable? Uh, do you see the fan base grow here? Or what are some things that you take away with experiencing a match here at Smithfield Hall? Um, I mean, one thing is that the fans here are very passionate, uh, which I love. 
uh, I mean, the primary difference is that everything is multiplied by 1,000, you know, in, in Germany. But uh, the spirit and the love for the team is here as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's say, Percy, can you give us a really quick score prediction, unless you think that's bad luck, but a quick score prediction for the return fixture? I would probably go with 3-1. Yeah. So another London club that Bayern is going to run over is is that going to is that the thing for Bayern? They just unless you know unless something drastic happens. Let's yes. Go Let's go with three one. Right, absolutely. Thank you, Percy, for chatting with us. We appreciate your time. We'll see you, bench warmers, on the next one. We'll catch some more fan reactions after this match between Chelsea and Bayern München.